What's up, guys? You know what we're here for. Let's check out this bad boy out of the box. Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of the Soda Nerds Collector's Corner. And today, we are going to take a look at this 18-inch Iron Man. Now, recently, you saw that the Funko Shop dropped out their limited edition 18-inch Iron Man. I want to take a closer look at this. Let's cut straight to the chase, all right? First of all, let's take a look at the box. That front for you in-the-box collectors, beautiful, has its own limited edition sticker right there up in front. You have on the side panels, you have Iron Man, cool logos on both the front and back on all four sides and of course a blank backing which nobody really cares about in addition uh, for you in the box collectors it is taped all the way around so it is sealed so you can remain and keep yours tightly sealed in the box if that's your desire it's time to open the box <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh man. All right. So, initial reactions. This guy is stellar. Oh my goodness. The detail is perfect. Love this. Now, <laughs> that is really cool. I love that. Let's do a little comparison here. Standard size pop is six inch Hulkbuster. And then you have the 18 inch Iron Man. I honestly, I really wish I had my uh, 10 inch from uh, GameStop that's coming. I think that would be a great stepping stone there. But oh my goodness, the weight on this. Now, this is not a bobblehead, which is probably a good thing because with this size of a head, you know that's going to topple over. I know. A few people have mentioned the coloring. Now, I can agree with this. Uh, it, it does have that classic red uh, of Iron Man suit, and I think we were all hoping for more of the darker metallic, uh, kind of maroon red. And I'm a little disappointed with that, um, to be honest with you. But I think overall, I mean, I'm very happy with this. The coloring is great. The detailing is good. The paint job is good. You gotta be a little nitpicky when it comes to these coloring, because if you're spending this kind of cash, you want the detail on these to be spot on. You don't want to have a lot of little mishaps or bleedings of colors or scratches or any of that. That is solid. This sucker's heavy. Now, some of you guys know, like, the other Groots have come out. Batman's lurking in back there. I think this is the heaviest one that they've made so far. Now, I didn't get a Pikachu, oh, so I can't comparison to him. But, as far as I'm considered, this is an A+. You guys, if you're able to score one of these, get your hands on one. And Funko, if you're listening, seriously, I'm very pleased with this, but you gotta, you gotta get more on ball here. If you're gonna be advertising it to be that metallic, maroon red you gotta put it on there because it's kind of that switch and bait thing you don't want to be doing that you don't want to have this color that wrong off to go is that a chinese knockoff we don't want any of that if we're paying that kind of money on your products we want it to be as best quality as possible so hey thanks again for joining me here on the soda nerds i hope you guys enjoyed this we'll get some good close looks thanks again we'll see you next time